Antifa set fire to Portland ice building. Portland makes no arrest. And this is a topic report. And the topic report is actually on Portland ice building Antifa fire. But it's uh, all things related. It's kind of a continuation. This one's. This is a topic that we covered yesterday that we were looking at port, the, port, the state of Portland. Well, we're continuing that because we've got some more stuff that uh, are not yesterday. I'm sorry. Wow. Friday. Friday. There was no yesterday. Friday. So this Saturday is when this stuff happened. So more stuff has happened in Portland worth covering. Fire set at Portland Ice Building. No arrest made. Police say this is KATU.com. On Sunday, the Portland police is... Oh, it doesn't say who. I don't have the author here. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, writer. On Sunday, the Portland Police Bureau confirmed that officers were called out to the federal building in southwest Portland around 1130 p.m. to assist the Federal Protective Service once fires had been lit. Officers arrived to find at least two fires, including one that appeared to be against the building. Video shared by KATU News by Independent Media PDX shows plywood that reinforced the exterior of the building ablaze. Wooden pallets piled outside were also set on fire. Let's see if we can get a... I heard this. Here you can see the... That's uh, what that... I don't know what all that was. There you go. So this is the... This is the Portland fire as it happened. And then we got some... Some more, some more lovely fire blazes. And no arrests have been made. None. None. Portland police arrived. And they're now aiding, they were then, aiding Department of Homeland Security Police and ICE agents as they hold a line to allow Portland Fire and Rescue to put out the remaining fire. But under, under this current president, he is not interested very much in having his, uh, his, uh, his authoritarian street thugs uh, be quelled. So that continues. And, you know, I, I got to say, shame on Antifa for continuing to allow yourselves to be used by corporate nationalists. You're fighting one nationalist by enabling others. So good job. Good job. Portland riot leads to Antifa setting fire to ICE building. This is from The Blaze. So the blaze take is the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Building in Portland was vandalized and set on fire late Sunday night. Video show federal agents reacting by firing crowd control munitions at the crowd of black block rioters in Oregon's most populated city. Shortly before midnight, midnight. I don't really have a lot of sympathy, empathy for the, the types of folks that are generally coming out for these types of Antifa events because they're, they're generally, they're, they're white suburbanites I'll just say that uh, really are just opportunist rabble rousers for the most part the way I see them when you see things happening in the inner cities in black communities those folks are a little bit more tied to actual sense of directly felt injustice that they're responding to but not so much these white suburbanites that think that they're fighting for freedom or whatever they're fighting for when they're just enabling the corporatists Oh, well, the corporate nationalists. Pedestrian killed in collision in northeast uh, Portland's Cully neighborhood in Oregon Live. Fire set outside of Portland Ice Building during protests. That's from KGW.com. And then we have Portland shooting and carjacking suspect detained after crashing into a fence, police say, from OregonLive.com. Portland Ice Building set on fire during Saturday night protests from Fox News. Portland 4th of July pop celebration canceled again. That's from BangerDailyNews.com. And finally, rioters in Portland set fire to ice building before agents used pepper balls to push black back protesters in night of violence. That's from the Sun.UK.